following video is guaranteed to be terrible. Flactimus Flood here and I am here to do a little bit of an unboxing of a web camera. This is the Logitech C920. It is a HD 1080p uh, cam camera. I nearly said camcorder there. It's a web camera. Um, let me read out what it says here. It says it's got full HD 1080p. It's got brilliant 50 megapixel pics. Wherever they are. Carl Zeiss lens with 20 step autofocus. I'd love to know what that means as well. And a stereo audio with dual mics. Uh, you have to forgive me by the way, I'm a bit snobby because I'm like uh, I'm a producer director by trade and I work in television here in the UK. And uh, I also I get when I look at prosumer, it's not even prosumer, is it? I mean it's not even any sumer, it's just sumer, consumer. Uh kit that starts dabbling in the field that I live and work in. I kind of start going, okay, somebody's telling me stories here. Uh, anyway, it's got stereo audio with dual mics, um, and it's got faster, smoother HD for more computers. One thing that is good, it says H264, which is kind of like a nice little universal codec that we all love. Uh, what else does it say on the back here? Uh, okay, I'll read this out, just because it's there. It says, the C920 lets you enjoy breathtaking, which is good, because you need to breathe. Oh no, it continues. Uh, uh, the C920 lets you enjoy breathtaking full HD 1080p and 720p video calls mm, on Skype for the sharpest video calling experience. There's a little three next to the word experience there. So there's a caveat. Uh, your loved ones will see the real you in dazzling crystal clear definition. Well, lucky them. I won't bother reading any more of that. Uh, now, recordings, that's interesting. So it's got like the Twitter logo, the Facebook logo, and YouTube, and a H264 um, uh, icon there. It says full HD 1080p recordings. Record full HD 1080p video clips or take brilliant 50 megapixel photos made possible by H264 and advanced compression technology, blah, blah, blah. You get fast, smooth uploads with less demand on your computer. Well, my computer is very demanding and less demand, I don't want to demand too much of it. Uh, so there you go. Focus on the details, sorry, I've just received an email about a job, uh, so I get distracted. I'm terrible at this, and I'd rather not have to go editing because I mean, who's really got the time? I, I just do this as a hobby. Oh, by the way, anyone who's kind of follows any of my vlogs or any of my other videos that I make, I gotta apologize, I've been really, absent from YouTube recently just because trying to buy a house it's all fallen through trying try to buy one house didn't happen all fell through tried to buy a second house all fell through we decided we we're going to rent for another year so that just took a hell of a lot of my time uh, plus there's been a few work things cropping up plus there's been a big project that I was scheduled to do over in Holland for ITV that's fallen through so that's been a big blow and I've had to put a lot of energy into finding something else to fill that gap which I haven't done yet um, okay, so let's get on with the unboxing of this little baby and see uh, how good it is. I'll give it a full test, I'll do some screen grabs and you can see for yourself whether this does produce the quality that we all hope and love to get. Okay then, here we go! Here's the box in more detail, Logic 8 920 HD camera. It's got a guy there who's... These are some of the faces you can do once you've plugged it in and when you go on the internet you can be that guy, uh, which is why I bought it. Uh, just just as a heads up, um, when buying kit, I do hold a lot of, um, what's the word? I trust, I don't know, I, I, I look at the reviews on Amazon and see what people are saying. If if like four or 500 people have given this like a four star review, then I know it's pretty much gonna be worth it. This has got like thousands of, or hundreds at least, um, reviews and um, people are saying that it's a, a great piece of kit. So I just took the plunge and did it. I It had something like 30 quid knocked off it, so it was in a bit of a sale. So let's open it up and see what we get. Now I'm one of these guys who likes to do things very, very smoothly and keep everything looking brand new and hopefully I'll get some sort of resale value from it when I stick it on eBay in a, a year's time or so, because these things are always being reinvented and bettered. 
so I'm opening it in the bottom here. I'm trying to also keep one eye on the lens so, I can, so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'll pull this out. Um, this is just uh, not really got any purpose or value to me anymore. There's nothing else to look at there. So pop that aside. And here we have this horrible plastic that we all love. Glad, glad to say it's not actually sealed. So let's close this locking blade. Not legal. Wandering around the streets in the UK with one of them. So be careful. There it is. That plastic comes off and that was relatively painless. So starting off I've got a setup guide here. Um, or guide de installation. Uh, which of course I won't pay any attention to whatsoever. Uh, because we don't. And we have our old friend, the good old USB. Shame to see that's not blue. If it was blue, obviously that would mean it's USB 3. Uh, it isn't, but you know, maybe it doesn't need to be for this kind of data transfer. Right, I need to pop this for, uh, there's the camera, obviously. And it's kind of somehow sitting in there. Uh, oh, I just, oh, I see, just, just, I just do that. So you might notice I've got very shaky hands. That's because I'm nervous around you guys. You scare me watching me from your bedroom or your toilet, whenever it is you're watching this. Don't pretend you don't watch this on the loo, I know you people. Now what is particularly good, I'll hold it up nice and close now. Let me try and get my arm around this tripod here. I shall stand to show you this. So what we got here is the, um, let me put this light on. There you go, that helps everything. So what we have here is the camera it feels it's plastic I think it's some sort of plastic it doesn't feel very plasticky though um, it's got a really long cable on it it's got one of those little things there which I always like I don't know <laughs> anyone knows what they do these little nobbins here then do put a message in the comment and let me know I'm fascinated to find out I'm just gonna pop open my knife again to take off this little plastic seal if I can If you're, if you're a child, you can be as careless as you like with this knife. If you're an adult, please be careful. And well, once you've finished with the knife, doing this, you can, I'd go for a little run with it. Just take the knife, you know, run up and down the stairs with your knife. Obviously, I'm joking. Take care, kids. Fingers. Oh. Right, so I've released the beast. So there we have. Now, I'm guessing these are... Microphones either side There's the Carl Zeiss lens Carl Zeiss lens in the middle for a webcam to do HD like this I think that's pretty cool And I'm seeing that this opens up here. It feels really solid actually. Oh, there's another little thing Let's do away with the little things and the, It's got like this rubber backing here, which is really kind of tactile It really feels like it would grip onto any other surface. There also seems to be something there so obviously that can latch onto your laptop, whatever you want. But the thing I really like is that there, which means if I just get an example, hold on a second. Sorry about that. So which means that not this one, obviously, this is one of these little crappy things that you can get, but it does mean you can put the, the whole thing on a tripod, which I find is excellent. Now I'm, I'm convinced the video quality on this is as good as it needs to be. So I'm quite, I'm going to use this for OBS, OBS and try and be able to cut from this camera uh, to the desktop and I'm hoping to start doing a bit of gaming and streaming it on Twitch. Plus I do lots of conversations and screen sharing with my family, usually helping them with their computers. So let's see what this, oh, there's, is there speakers at the back? No, there's not. That's annoying, that dragging, isn't it? So let's see what this is. Let's see what this is actually like then. Plugged in with all the software. Actually, there is no discs. Interesting, no discs. Looks like I am going to have to read this after all to find out what on earth I'm supposed to do. But, you know, Windows 8 discovers everything itself, doesn't it? Okay then, here it is. It's standing here. It's ready to go. Uh, it looks a little bit like a character from Star Wars, but I am not going to complain about that. Um, I have just I'm started to unravel this. I'm going to plug it under my desk here onto the old computerana. And I plugged it in. I'm also recording my uh, desktop now. So I'll be able to cut between this camera here and the screen. Okay, so I plugged it in and nothing is happening. So that's not good. 
Is it being discovered? Are you there? Hello? What's happening? Oh, hold on. I turned my speakers down because I thought it feed back, but... <coughs> well, I plugged it in and nothing seems to be happening. So, like a typical bloke, as the ladies would say, I haven't bothered to read the instructions. Ah, uh, that's a bit sexist of me, isn't it? I'm sure any logical person would say, read the instructions, lad. So here I am reading them. I promised myself I wouldn't, but here I am doing it. So what do I have to do? What am I doing wrong here? Place your webcam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Install the software. If you're using webcam with Windows 8, the software required is downloaded automatically. Is it? Calculator. Notepad. Save. It's not really being downloaded automatically that I'm aware of. I can't see it in my icon tray here. Sorry, this is obs. I'm just going to move that off the screen. Can't see anything going on here. The camera looks dead. I'm using Windows 8 here. It does say, if you're using your webcam with Windows 8, the software required is downloaded automatically when you connect your webcam for the first time. Important, make sure you connect to the internet so the software can be downloaded. Oh, I'm always connected to the internet. That's like, who wouldn't be? So, I don't know. Nothing's been downloaded. I'm not, I'm, I'm not very happy. Work! Work! If I shout work at it, will it make it work? I know this is a bit boring to look at, but you know, what can I do? I mean, you're sharing my frustration. All right, Logitech website, it is then. Let's move this to the side. And it's the C920. Mm. Support. Ooh, gooey. Why did they do that? They always ask you, what do you think of our website? Just as you arrive there. Oh, is that uninstalling? Okay, clicking on the downloads now. <sighs> Ooh, 13 seconds, look. It's happening. There it is. It's all happening. Seven seconds, six seconds up there, look. Oh, it's not long to go. Bang! Double click that. Yeah, I trust you. Oh, it's installing stuff. That's comforting. All right, I'm going to let that install for a little bit. Oh, oh, I was going to go away and let it all happen, but it's actually just happening. Let's go through this then. So... Motion detection. Whatever. Yeah, go for it. I'll have a lot. Installing progress. Of course, it seems that you can connect it with Facebook or some such. I mean, good luck with that. I'm always a little bit wary about connecting too many things to Facebook and Twitter. Or YouTube for that matter. Because you don't know what you're agreeing to. It's like when you play Angry Birds or these games, you kind of like give the game permission to browse your contacts and then contact your contacts, which is never nice. 
and they can work out exactly what it, type of person you are and what you like and target advertising at you and before they know it they have a full profile. There's my face! Hello! That's my face! Ooh, I look like a grumpy old man. Oh, I've got this, I've got this here like... Oh, can't get rid of it. Right, oh, and as you can see the camera um, just uh, has lit up blue. Uh, which is really really cool um, and I'm looking decidedly 4x3 at the minute but um, I'm going to go along with that I'm just going to put this here so it's a better shot than the vanity it's kind of blue it was good quality though Alright, so there you go. Oh, look at that. It looks really crisp, doesn't it? I'm just going to get rid of this here. I'm going to put this full screen. I can't put it full screen. So, oh, that actually... It's a bit of a delay there. Which is okay. I'll just move it so you don't see that horrible light. You can see my air freshener. Where is it? My, oh, my air freshener. And my... I can't do it my Patrick Stewart, Stewart autograph picture with actual prop Star Trek communicator. <laughs> Sorry, this is webcams for you. As soon as you get one, you want to start putting yourself on the tele. All right, so I'm kind of being one of these people not looking at the lens because I'm looking at the picture. So I'm going to keep snapping. What's oh, this photo? Switch it to video. Ooh. Ooh, has anything happened? It looks kind of nice. I mean, it looks quite blue, but I do have a massive blue light on my face, so that'll probably be why that is. Um, I'm actually quite pleased. Oh, it's, it's immediate now, look. Is it? it? Seems to have warmed up. Uh, it's still a fraction of a delay. Um, so what do I do? do I, how do I grab? No, oh, click that. Three, two, one. Hello, and this is me talking on the webcam, and I presume the microphone is also recording me, but I don't remember doing any settings or checking it, but this is what it looks like on the webcam. I don't have any lights on my face, so it probably looks a bit rubbish. I also have a light from on my back, but um, move there, then that's a little bit better, isn't it? Let me try and move that around there. There you go. So, uh, you tell me, what is the picture quality like? Is this good? Yeah, Do you like this? Do you think this is good enough? Uh, could you live with this? Are you happy with the quality? Now, I don't know what you watch your videos at on YouTube, but if you go down to the little cogwheel in the bottom ooh, right hand corner and click it, you have a couple of options there. One is to turn off all the annotations, which uh, ask you to subscribe and click other videos and whatnot. But there's another one there that you can just select to choose uh, picture quality. 720p is normally good enough, but if you're a real pro and a real anally redundant person then go for the 1080p a lot of people put stuff on youtube at 1080p because of the the potential for actual broadcast later in life so we always uh, do upload to 1080p so if you're watching this at 1080p that's the full size of my monitor right now um i'm looking at the monitor my, my, this monitor this this is a window inside my monitor uh, and the monitor is uh, all this black area around here is 1080p so um very interested to know what you think. This is, I think it looks cracking. I don't have any problem with this. Let's just click around some of the, the options that are in here. What's that? Motion videos? Controls. Ooh. To enable pan and tilt controls, first adjust the zoom control. Ooh. Oh, I see. So, I, so ooh. Okay, welcome to the inside of my nose. And so I should grab this little, ooh, look, I see what's happening. Now you can see how the resolution's gone down quite a lot there, isn't it? I can cut the microphone. Ooh. That's gone back. That's a bit awkward. Um, oh, it's giving me the options here of uh, 720p, which is okay. Well, I want it to go to 1080p, so I'm just going to change that straight away. Uh, and so what it's done is it's captured that little video at 720p, and now I'm going to press grab again. And now it's capturing the video at um, DP. I'm quite pleased with this. It looks all right. Oh, it's focusing. Look, let's see how that works. Okay, I'm going to focus in on my Leatherman here, my beloved Leatherman. Can you see that? Is that focused? Oh, yeah, baby. It's found it. What's it say? It's got 20 step autofocus. So that's quite handy, isn't it? If you're somebody who likes to do 
videos demonstrating things. That looks pretty cool, actually. Hold on, come on, focus, find it. You gonna find it? Too close? That's really close to the lens now. It's not doing it, is it? It's kind of settled on my face and it doesn't want to move away from there. Let's just uh, try again. I suppose you can, if you give it, ah, it seems, it seems if you give it light, it kind of works. It's struggling because the object that it's focusing on is is in the foreground, but it's quite it's quite a small object. I guess if I put something slightly bigger in the foreground there, okay, let's, put that, let's put the old remote control. <laughs> the old dirty remote control. Look how filthy that is. There you go, dusty. Sorry, I live with animals. I don't use the remote control, to be honest. That's why it's so dusty. Uh, and I don't clean my house. That's why it's also so dusty. So you can see it's... Um, so this web camera is so good, you can actually see how dusty and horrible my uh, remote control is, which when I'm just looking at it, I'm just looking at it now, it's like it looks clean to me. But when you put it on a camera, it's like absolutely filthy. It does take a little time to find that, doesn't it? I think you need to put it in the center, yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm quite pleased with that. Um, let's move this round so I that light. It, it shows off your double chin beautifully. Um, I'm actually quite pleased with this camera so far. Uh, yeah, I think that pretty much surmises what I want to do. Oh, I guess the only thing really to do is play it back and see how that looks. Let me just. Uh, have a go at doing that. Okay, well, hopefully that's given you an idea of uh, what this little camera is like. Um, I'm not entirely convinced by that playback there. I, I thought it all looked a little bit muggy. It didn't look crisp to me. Um, in fact, looking at it paused, it still looks a little bit, a little bit low res, to be honest with you. So um, I might, I might uh, ask me about it. See, like, give me a week or so to play with it. And by all means, just send me a message or follow me on Twitter or send me a tweet. I'm Fluctibus Flood, um, at Fluctibus Flood on Twitter. Um, or you can send me a message on Google+. Plus. I usually respond if people are nice. If you're not nice, I don't bother. Um, let me know what you think. If you're thinking about buying these or you have bought one, what do you think of them? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a lot of money as well. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and so please subscribe to my channel. It's 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 not worth doing if there's nobody there. You need subscriptions, so hit that little red button, fish it out, click on my name, and then go back and click and subscribe. As soon as you subscribe, you won't see that horrible video of me talking at the beginning. Uh, we'd love to have you. Thanks for liking as well, and if you want to dislike, then put in the comments why, and try and do it in a way that's actually constructive. Hope to see you soon. I hope I see you soon. Oh, vlogs will be back. They will be back. Well, subscribe then!